Hello dear students, uh, today I will complete the exercise, miscellaneous exercise chapter 5, okay, so up to question 10, already completed, now question 11, solution, question 11, 11 is what, if a plus IB equals to given A plus IB equals to X plus I square upon X plus I square upon 2 X square plus 1 X square plus 1 then prove that We have to prove that a square plus b square equals to x square plus 1 square upon 2x square plus 1 square. Okay. So this is given. Given this, we have to prove this. So this is a complex number system. We know this is real part. This is real part. Complex number having quantity without i real part and with i imaginary part. So here a is real part, b is imaginary part of this complex number. And this complex number is equal to this. In the right hand side is not in the form of a plus ib so any complex number mixing complex number can be reduced to the form as a plus ib format quantity without i and with i then we can compare both side real part of both side are equal measure part of both side are equal so to prove this we can find first value of A and value of B from here and then squaring both and adding we can get like this. So here right hand side is not in the form of A plus IB. So first of all we have to convert it in the form X plus A plus IB format. Okay. So given this we can write A plus IB is left hand side, right hand side x plus i, i quantity is involved, so squaring, so expand it, try to convert it, a plus i format, so x square plus i square plus 2xi upon 2x square plus 1, okay, so from here we know i square equals to minus 1, okay, so x square minus 1, plus i into 2x, we can write like this, i into 2x upon 2x square plus 1, since i square equals to minus 1, clear, and this can be written as by dividing 2x square plus 1 plus i into 2x upon 2x square plus 1. Clear? So this quantity just divide it by this, this upon this and this upon this. So this is without i, this is with i. So 
here left hand side is a plus ib so now we can compare real and imaginary parts you can get the value of a equating real and imaginary parts on both side we get a equals to this b equals to this so a equals to x square minus 1 upon 2x square plus 1 and b equals to 2x upon 2x square plus 1 there will be value of a and b now to prove this we can squaring and adding this to quantity and get the value in this form ok so now squaring and adding above values of a and b we can get we can get as a square a square plus b square equals to this square plus this square that is x square minus 1 upon 2x square plus 1 square plus this 2x upon 2x square plus 1 this square just like this ok just squaring and adding now we can simplify it as this ok so very simple technique ok just squaring it if denominator are same so we can write 2x square plus 1 square as LCM and here the square of this the square of this a minus x square minus 1 square so x to the power 4 plus 1 square so minus 2 x square plus 4 x square just like this ok this a minus b whole square now here x square square plus 1 square plus 2 x square upon 2 x square plus 1 square x square plus 1 whole square so x square plus 1 whole square upon 2 x square plus 1 whole square a square plus b square equals to which is the required result ok hence proved which is required reject clear so this is the simple technique for solving ok now question 12 here just given z1 and z2 2 minus i minus 2 plus i find the real part of z1 upon z z1 z2 upon z1 bar 1 by z1 z bar so take question 12 ok so here given given quantity z1 equals to 2 minus i and z2 equals to minus 2 plus i this is given in 12 minus 2 plus i z1 z2 by z1 bar we have to find we have to find what real part of real part of z1 z2 upon 
जेड वन बार अपॉन जेड वन एंड इमेजनरी पार्ट ऑफ वन अपॉन जेड वन जेड टू बार जेड वन जेड वन बार ओके सो वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन इट इज ऑल्सो यू कैन गेट इट बाय फाइंडिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस फर्स्ट रियल पार्ट ऑफ दिस कंप्लीट कॉम्बिनेशन इज ए कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर सो गेट इट इन टर्म्स ऑफ ए प्लस आई बी देन जस्ट राइट रियल पार्ट एंड ऑल्सो गेट इट एज कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर ए प्लस आई बी एंड कंपेयरिंग इमेजनरी पार्ट वी कैन गेट सो हि जेड वन इक्वल टू दिस जेड टू इक्वल दिस पार्टिकुलर वेल्यूज सो वी हैव टू फाइंड फर्स्ट दिस वेल्यू जेड वन बार ओके This given implies z1 bar means its conjugate is equals to what? Two minus i conjugate equals to two plus i. Just replace i by minus i. This is its conjugate. Now we have what? Z1 z2 upon z1 bar. Z1 z2 upon z1 bar equals to this is complex number z1 z2 what 2 minus i minus 2 plus i upon z1 bar 2 plus i so here by multiplying it we can get minus 4 plus 2i plus 2i minus 2 minus 4 minus minus plus 2i and i 2 I minus I square upon two plus I. So this is equals to what we see minus four plus four I minus minus one. Since I square equals to minus one here, so this is two plus I, and we can write it minus four plus one minus three. So minus three plus four i upon two plus i to write it in the form of a plus i b. Just multiply it by two minus i in numerator and denominator. For removing this complex quantity from denominator, okay. So what minus three plus four i upon two plus i into 2 minus i upon 2 minus i. Clear? Now in denominator, a plus b a minus b a square minus b square plus b square minus i square. So this is equals to. And also in numerator, multiply it. This two quantity, this two quantity. So 2 minus 6 minus 6 plus 8i. And minus minus plus six the three i and minus four i square this numerator and denominator a plus i b a plus b a minus b a square minus b square two square minus i square two square minus i square clear so this is equals to what we can write. Minus six. Here i square equal to minus one. So minus six plus eight and three eleven i minus minus plus four i plus four i square equal to minus one minus minus one plus four upon here four minus minus one. So we can write its value as i square equal to minus one. So uh, minus six plus four minus two. Minus two plus eleven i upon five. So this can be written as minus two by five plus eleven by five i. Okay. So this is equals to this real part into imaginary part on 
comparing real part of above complex quantity with a plus i b format we get a equals to real part the real part of z1 z2 upon z1 bar is equals to minus 2 by 5 this is our first answer okay this real part okay we can also find its imaginary part 11 by 5 so real part is minus 2 by 5 so we have to first convert the complex quantity in terms of a plus i b form Okay, this is real part, this is real part. And second part also you can do very simple for that. Also, we see that the complex quantity 1 upon z1 into z1 bar equals to 1 upon z means z1 means 2 minus i, 2 minus i. 2 plus i okay 2 minus i and 2 plus i just like this clear and this is equals to what 1 upon 2 a square minus i square equals to 1 upon 4 minus minus 1 equals to 1 upon 5 complete real numbers its imaginary part is 0 there is nothing with i so its imaginary part is 0 so it can be written like this i into 0 on comparing the imaginary part of above is 0 that is imaginary part of 1 upon z1 into z1 bar is equals to 0, this is equals to 0. Okay, so simple. Just you have to find complex quantity. Now, 13 modulus and argument of the complex number 2, 1 plus 2 by y, 1 minus modulus and argument, the polar representation of complex number. This is not in your syllabus this year. Okay, so we have to take question 14 because 13 is related to polar representation of complex number that is not part of our syllabus in this year so just i skip this part okay and now take 14 question find real numbers x and y if x minus y is the conjugate of this so here given given x minus i y 3 plus 5 y x minus i y into 3 plus 5 y is conjugate of this is conjugate of minus 6 minus 24 i minus 6 minus 24 i this is given we have to find x and y clear so this is conjugate of minus 6 minus 24 i clear 3 plus 5 x minus i y minus 6 minus 24 x minus i y okay this is conjugate of this means conjugate of this this is equal to conjugate of this first of all we have to write this combination in terms of x plus a, a plus i b format so here 
we have first of all we have to write this as a plus ib format we have x minus i y into 3 plus pi y equals to multiply it okay so this is equals to what 3 x minus 3 y i plus 5 x i minus i square y minus 5 x square y okay so just multiply it 3x minus 3iy 5ix minus 5i square y so this is equals to 3x minus 5x minus 3y minus 5 into minus 1 into y so you can write minus minus plus 5y so 3x plus 5y into i into 5x minus 3y okay so this is equal to this given quantity okay implies x minus i y into 3 plus 5 i yes this multiplication as a format a plus i okay now and the conjugate of minus 6 minus 24 i is given by minus 6 minus 24 i this is equals to minus 6 plus 24 i this because the plus i by minus i this according to question this is equals to this according to question we get this is equals to this 3x plus iy plus i into 5x minus 3y this is equals to this minus 6 plus 24 I. Now comparing real and real reports. Now comparing real and imaginary part, we get three x plus five y equals to minus six and 5x minus 3y equals to 24. Suppose this is equation 2 and this is equation 1. Okay, two equations we get. Now for finding value of x and y, just solve this simultaneous equation. Very simple. Okay. For solving this, we can write what? 3x so multiply first by 3 and second by 5 and we can get so equation 1 into 3 plus 
equation 2 into 5. gives this means multiplied by 3 and then add to multiplication of 2 by 5 ok so what 3x multiply it by 3 so 9x plus 15 y equals to minus 18 by multiply by 3 and multiply by 5 25 x minus 15 y equals to multiply by 5 by 5 24 by into 5 120 120 okay now add this so cancel out so you get what 34x plus 0 equals to now 18 1 0 2 so implies x equals to 1 0 2 y 34 this is equals to 3 so x equals to 3 and we can get y equals to also from past we get from here 3 into 2 x equal to 3 2 plus 5y equals to minus 6 so 6 plus 5y equals to minus 6 so 5y equals to sorry not 2 3 3 9 minus 6 minus 9 so equals to 5y equals to minus 15 implies y equals to minus 3 so x equals to 3 and y equals to minus 3 ok so this is the answer of So, the, by this type of process you can find values of quantities involved in maximum of complex numbers. Okay. So, here x equal to 3 and y equal to minus 3. Now, question 15. Okay. In question 15, Find the modulus of this 1 plus i 1 minus i 1 minus i 1 plus i minus of this modulus you know modulus of complex number means a plus i b if a plus i b is complex number then its modulus is what a square plus b square square positive square root of a square plus b square so here uh, 15 given complex quantity is 1 plus i upon 1 minus i minus 1 minus i upon 1 plus i this is 1 minus i upon 1 plus i ok 1 plus i will be this we have to find modulus of this quantity we know whenever a number a plus i b is a complex number its modulus is what it's positive square root of a square plus b square this is our formula. So, you have to find modulus of complex quantity. So, first of all, convert this quantity to the form a plus i b form. So, this is equals to 
we have 1 plus i upon 1 minus i minus 1 minus i upon 1 plus i. Just take its LCM. Just take its LCM. 1 minus i, 1 plus i. And then 1 plus i square minus 1 minus i square. Now you can solve it and simplify it to the form a plus i before that. Okay, so solve it 1 plus 1 square plus i square minus 2i minus 1 square plus i square minus 2i here plus a plus i d. Okay, 1 square plus i square minus 2i upon a plus i b a minus i b a square minus b square so 1 square minus i square so this is equals to here 1 square minus 1 square cancel out 1 plus 1 minus i square minus 1 since i square equals to minus 1 ok so just write the value of all 1 minus 1 plus 2i minus 1 minus i minus 2i upon 1 minus minus 1 equals to we see that 1 on pencil here minus 1 1 on pencil so 2i minus minus plus 2i upon 2 this equals to what 4i upon 2 plus to 2i. This is our quantity 0 plus i into 2 a plus i b format. Okay. Therefore, its modulus is mod of 0 square plus 2 square square. So, 2 that is therefore modulus of this is equals to modulus of 0 plus i into 2 equals to what 0 a square plus 2 a square equals to this mod of 2 a square equals to 2 positive square ok so this is modulus 2 answer is what very simple question 52 now 16 there is given some equation and we have to show that like this ok x plus i a q equal to u plus i q Sixteen given complex relation is x plus i y q equals to u plus i b, and we have to show that we have to show that what we have to show that. u by x plus v by y equals to 4x square minus y square. Just we have to show like this. And this is given. From given relation, we can find the value of u and v in terms of x and y. And then try to find like this type of relation. Here x plus i y cube. This is not direct in the form of a plus i b. So, we have to convert it a plus i b format. Then comparing on both sides. So, here we can write a plus b whole cube. So, a q we know since a plus b whole q equals to what? a q plus b q plus 3 a b a plus b by using this format. Okay, by using this formula, we can write a q plus b q plus 3 a into b 
a की प्लस b की प्लस c a b एंड a प्लस a प्लस b इक्वल्स तो u प्लस i b राइट हैंड साइड क्लियर नाउ लेफ्ट हैंड साइड we see that x cube plus i cube y cube plus 3 x y 3 x y i x plus i u plus i v just solve it i cube equals to i cube equals to Minus i since i square equals to minus one, so minus i. So here x cube minus i y cube plus now multiply it three x square y i plus three x y square i square equals to u plus i b. Just write it. Here we can see that x cube i square minus one i square equals to minus one minus one so minus three x y square minus three x y square i square minus one three x y square minus one minus three x y square this is without i clear now this two quantity i So take common i. Then we get three x square y, three x square y minus y minus y equals to u plus i. B. Now this is without i. This is with i. On comparing, on comparing. Real and imaginary part, imaginary parts. We get u equals to this. U equals to x cube minus three x y square, and v equals to three x square y minus y cube. Clear? From here we see that. U by x, v by y. So u by x equals to divided by x. So x square minus three y square. And also v by y divided by y equals to three x square minus y square. By adding these two, we can get the result. Okay. So Adding these two equations, we get after this line, just like this: u by x plus b by y at left hand side and also right hand side. X square minus three y square plus. 3x square minus y square. So this is equals to 4x square minus 4y square. It equals to 4x square minus y square. Okay. So u by x plus b by y, which is required. That's it. This clear. So this is very simple. Just we have to. Convert any complex quantity, mixing complex quantity, in terms of a plus i b format, and by comparing, we can get the required value as we as given asking in the question. Okay, so now seventeen. Okay, we try to we will find say a value of beta minus alpha upon one minus alpha bar beta. 
alpha beta are different complex quantity here 17 17 given that two different complex number alpha and beta such that such that beta modulus equals to 1 ok alpha beta different numbers and such that mod beta equals to 1 we have to find we have to find alpha minus beta uh, beta minus alpha upon 1 minus alpha bar beta what is this we have to find the value of this ok so here alpha beta are different so let let alpha equals to a plus ib complex quantity different complex numbers and beta equals to x plus i y such that mod beta equals to 1 implies mod x plus i y equals to 1 implies root of x square plus y square equals to 1 implies x square plus y square equals to 1 ok so let this and beta equals to x plus i its modulus is 1 so let like this x square plus y square equals to 1 now we have to find the value of this ok so now we see that beta minus alpha beta minus alpha upon 1 minus alpha bar beta mod is equals to ok just like write it here suppose such that mod beta equals to 1 implies x square plus y square equals to 1 equation 1 ok these are required ok so this is equals to beta that means a plus b i b minus alpha sorry uh, this is x plus i y x plus i y minus a plus i b just put the way a plus i b and x plus i b here ok we try we will try to find the value of this clear mod of this just like this ok so here uh, mod of this upon one minus alpha bar means a minus i b beta x plus i y ok so this is equals to mod of x minus a plus i into y minus b i common y minus b x minus a mod of this upon separate mod of also you can multiply it 1 minus here a x minus i b x plus i a y minus i a y minus i square b y i square b y 
mod since mod z1 upon z2 is equals to mod z1 upon mod z2 this is you know the modulus of z1 upon z2 equals to mod z1 upon mod z2 so mod of this upon this equal to mod of this upon mod of this we can write okay now this is equals to x minus a plus i of y minus b of modulus upon just write it also in terms of a plus i b format okay so here 1 minus ax 1 minus ax and i quantity i square equals to minus 1 i square equals to minus 1 also so here minus 1 minus minus plus b1 and this minus minus b1 so minus b1 1 this 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 is without i and here i common minus minus plus i common so bx minus minus i common minus a y this is real part plus i and is real part now we can apply modulus formula for here okay that is what root of x minus a square plus y minus b a square upon root of 1 minus ax minus by square plus bx minus ay square clear since a plus b i b modulus equals to root over a square plus b square okay this is the reason we can write like this just we have to find the value of this with that relation x plus y to do 1 so this is equals to this now expand a minus b whole square a plus a minus b whole square so here just after this line we can write root over x square minus 2a x plus a square plus y square minus 2by plus b square sorry b square b square okay breaking the imaginable square here we know formula what a plus b plus c whole square is equals to what a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc abbc plus 2ac this is also formula a plus b plus c whole square so apply a plus b plus c taking with sign whole square so we can write 1 square plus a square x square with minus square plus b square y square plus 2ab with sign minus 2ax plus 2bc minus minus plus plus 2bc so plus 2abxy a b x y plus 2 a c this into this minus 2 b y minus 2 b y clear now this a minus b whole square plus b square x square plus a square y square minus 2ab xy 
this is numerator, the denominator. Okay. So now we can see here that there is a combination of x square plus y square. So root over x square plus y square, x square plus y square. and plus a square plus b square and minus 2ax to by 2ax to by of this and in denominator you can see x square x square common a square plus b square x square common One is this x square common a square plus b square. Similarly, y square common a square plus b square. You can see here y square common b square a square. And these two quantity here cancel out. So minus 2ax minus 2by. So we get root over 1 plus a square plus b square plus minus 2ax minus 2by 1 plus a square plus b square minus 2ax minus 2by since x square plus y square equals to 1 x square plus y square to 1 ok here 1 here just see a square plus b square, a square plus b square can be taken common. Then a square plus b square into a square plus y square. That is 1. one. So 1 plus a square plus b square minus this. 1 plus a square plus b square minus this. Now here x square plus a square to 1. So 1. This minus this. Both are same quantity. So this is equals to 1. So value is 1. Okay. Its value is what? Clear? Okay, so this was the question 17. Now, 18, 19, and 20 you have to solve. Just I will give in or see here 18 is very simple. Okay. Just you have to write very clearly. 18. 18 is what? Find the number of non-zero integral solution of the equation 1 minus i to the power x equal to 2 to the power x. 1 minus i to the power x equals to 2 to the power x. This is a equation, complex equation and non-zero integral solution. How many non-zero integral solution of this equation? That is the value of x. Non-zero integral. So here, if we take this relation, we can see that complex quantity to the power x its modulus root of 1 square plus minus 1 square power x is equal to 2 to the power x so what 2 power 1 by 2 x equals to 2 power x so what 2 power x by 2 equals to 2 power x so what x by 2 equals to x so x equals to 2x that is what x equals to 0 only 0 solution is possible only 0 solution is possible 0 is the only integral solution non-zero integral solution there is no non-zero integral solution because only integral solution is 0 0 is the only integral solution Non-zero integral solution is nothing. Means number of non-zero solution is zero. Okay, ready. Nineteen, you can get it. Complex into complex into complex into complex. So you can use this formula. What? Nineteen. Here, A B C D E F G H A plus I B. Very simple question. Is we know mod Z1 into Z2 equals to what? mod z1 into mod z2 you know 2 3 4 5 sin mod of multiplication is equals to multiplication of their separately mod 
so here a plus i b c plus i d e plus i f g plus i h equals to a plus i b this is given so just take modulus on both side take modulus take modulus on both side this and by using this relation we can write a plus i b c plus i d e plus i f g plus i h and a plus i b okay by using this relation since mod z1 z2 equals to mod of z1 into z2 and mod of a plus i b is equals to what root of a square plus b square so we can write root of a square plus b square root of c square plus d square root of e square plus f square root of g square plus h square equals to a square plus b square root now taking a square root a square root then you can get a square plus b square into c square plus g square a square plus f square g square plus h square equals to a square plus b square taking a square root taking square on both side this is result this is the result okay very simple and last question is 20 what is given 1 plus i by 1 plus 1 minus i to the power m equals to 1 will find the least integral value of m okay so least integral value of m integral value of m list 1 plus i 1 plus i upon 1 minus i to the power m equals to 1 it is given and the least value we have to find we have to find list integral value of m we know we can convert it as a plus i b format so 1 plus i upon 1 minus i into 1 plus i upon 1 plus i just multiply it 1 minus i opposite sign then you can solve it what 1 plus i 1 plus i whole square so 1 square plus i square plus 2i upon a minus b plus b so 1 square minus i square so what or m equals to 1 here 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 i square equals to minus 1 i square equals to minus 1 so 1 minus 1 plus 2i upon here 1 minus minus 1 or m equals to 1 so what 2 2 by 2i i or i power what m equals to 1 clear and that we know that i to the power 4 multiple is equals to always 1 so implies m equals to 4k where k is some integer now here the least value of k is 1 here least value of k is 1 so least value of m is equals to 4 into 1 equals to 4 so 4 is the list value of m this is equals to what 4 clear so miscellaneous exercise is completed of exercise of chapter 5 you have to send me at least solution of at least three questions by making pdf file to me for your attendance okay